Today's tutorial is about being prepared as an audio professional. Hi, I'm Keith Alexander, and this is part of a series of online tutorials to help media professionals, including directors, editors, and videographers, to be able to deliver audio to a professional standard. These steps might seem like they're way too simple, but following them will help you avoid disaster. Look at all the parameters of the shoot. What type of shoot is it? Each shoot requires specific equipment. Is it a drama with many actors? A stationary interview indoors, or even a crowd scene outdoors with a cast of thousands. Talk to the producer or the director so you can acquire all the information about each location and how you'll be recording the participants and how many participants. If you can try to assess as many of the locations as possible to make sure that it is suitable for achieving successful recordings. When you know what you're recording, then you can determine what equipment you'll need. Will you need radio mics, boom mics? How many contributors? The director will always forget at least one. Are you recording in stereo, mono or surround? What else will you need to record? GVs, wild tracks. Always think about what can go wrong. What about backup equipment? If your recorder dies, do you have an alternative means of recording? And does it have enough inputs? Do your radio mics have the range that you may need for long shots? Do you have enough mics to cover all those participants? Now that you've considered all the parameters of the shoot, make sure that all your necessary equipment is working. Try to test everything. It's a real thing. Make sure that you have new batteries or at least everything is charged. Carry a quality battery tester. Cheap batteries, older batteries, or mixed batteries will affect the operation of the equipment that you're depending on. And when was the last time you used a certain mic? Is it still working? Check your leads. The kids may have eaten one or two of them. Have you all the leads that you'll need and all the adapters that could help all the connections that you may need? Now that you've done your prep work and covered all the bases, are you ready to go? Consider these few steps to make the project a nicer place and avoid stressful situations for you and everyone else on the project. Join me for the next episode where we look at understanding what we're recording and why. And why choosing the correct location is crucial.